let's see how to code the probability class uh, first of all uh, we have here uh, our init method with a phone name and then we have two functions here one is named the get phone name and set phone name the get phone name should return a phone name but we don't have a phone name we have this time first name and last name uh, so using a single uh, space we can construct uh, a string that is uh, actually a full name so this is how we solve the full name issue here for the set full name here we have a function that take a full name and then is going to lower it and then split it to two words and assign them to the first and to the last and after that once you have the set and get you can create a probability object this is a class and you pass the get method and the set method observe you aren't passing the parentheses you are only passing the function name or the method name and also observe that there is no uh, uh, no self here in this thing and also observe it's created on the class level so be careful about this changes so the full name here now is acting as a virtual probability if someone is trying to call person dot full name he will find it working although there is no actually set dot full name set dot full name uh, attribute the actual attributes are the first name and last name as a side note observe here the init method didn't try to write here first last lower uh, split here it just depended on calling the set method why because it is so bad to duplicate this code here especially if this code is big or complex there is a principle in software engineering the dry principle don't repeat yourself if you found yourself repeating your code in different locations there is something wrong if there is a single bug in one of the code blocks you will you will have to fix it in every code block this is very wrong so the way to go is i tried here to call the uh, fo set phone name to do the same effect now let's use it in the code here if you try to say person dot phone name it will actually call the, the get method and if you try to say person dot phone name equals something it will actually call the set method observe this person can now call the set and can 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 access the attribute although there is no attribute so what the probability is providing us is an ability to create like what what i why what i call a virtual attribute to access but it doesn't exist one might say okay why not from the beginning keep keep having an attribute for full name and first name and last name because this is a lot of coding and you need a lot of consistency but here by providing only two methods and a single line here we are done with that um, this is also a minor thing if you didn't provide a space here you will get an error because the set method is actually is going to split based on a space so uh, actually expecting two two words with a space so be careful from that uh, let's get things more complicated if you try to access the class property you will notice that two you will notice that you have four parameters that are all by default none uh, a function get function set function even for the delete and the documentation and observe here that this is how you document your class similar to documenting your methods so it seems we have flexibility we don't have to pass the get and set we might pass only the get me by pass only the set or pass only the delete or pass only the documentation the two scenarios that might happen is you might only pass only the get method now if you try to call the to put the equal to set you will get a pro error that there is no set for name attribute here in a similar way you can use the if set keyword to to pass only the set method so now you cannot get but you can set i know it doesn't make sense i'm just showing you the capabilities here so uh, that's all about the probability and how it allow us using uh, three three things getter and setter and um and just the object probability we can provide this virtual access to our attribute